So James, good morning. Hey there. I've really said good morning because <laughs> we've been here about an hour it and is. he's been putting off flying this what looks to be a very unusual aircraft. Tell us what it, tell the folks what it is, James. Um, so it's an Abrams Explorer, I think a 50s reconnaissance aircraft. Yeah. And the guys at Plane Print came out with some amazing plans for it so so this is three this is all 3D 3d printed, printed. yeah mostly pla plus not lightweight pla apart from the tailpiece and it took about two months to print out which is why i'm nervous about flying it today two months of every evening yeah it took a, it took a lot longer than i thought and you were telling me for example the the canopy there is all is like 10 different pieces yeah, that you have to cut out yeah bits of bottles and projector um overhead um s slides and yeah a fiddly a fiddly Very thing to make build. but it looks awesome i'm i I'm, I'm flown for like six months so. well you did just fly your avanti edf jet apart from that um and as you can see by the windsock it's a little bit breezy i'd say it's a perfect day wouldn't you yeah, yeah apparently james definitely. oh it's perfect yeah i mean we james think... isn't nervous at all is he <laughs> we think it's a perfect day yeah. every excuse I'll... under the sun's come out i've run out of excuses really so we'll take it up do a few circuits and try not to crash it and see see how it goes fantastic but there's no point in sitting in the shed for another six months no and that it would this is really the last day of summer i think yeah well that's what you keep telling me <laughs> All right, <laughs> James, we wish you all the best, mate. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Okay. Keep an eye on the gliders, Jay. A little, don't. Oh, wow. Do a landing approach at that height, James. Do a landing approach at that height. You want to check how fast. How much it slows down. Okay. You can get it, yeah, yeah, you yeah, go yeah, for yeah. it. Just retrieve all right.
Yeah, to uh, you need to go further out to the right in a square circuit. Way too high. Hold, hold, wait for it chap, wait for it everyone, wait for it. I think he's going to be quite happy. Oh my goodness, I need to go home and have an immediate change of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, that was okay. That was amazing! It was, it was, it was a little bit of a beast, a bit of a heifer. But the um, takeoff. But yeah, it was perfect. So undramatic. Yeah. Gentle climb out. I've got to say, I found that with the plain print uh, guys, their manuals are amazing, and the setup the, for the Seagull and the other planes uh, is absolutely spot on. You know, if you follow them, you can't go too far wrong. That's um, amazing. I can't imagine the amount of time you've put into that, but the outcome is fantastic, James. Okay. Well, well done. Thank you, please. Thanks. You should be. Brilliant. Now, please, I never fly that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go on the wall now. You've got a second flight in a minute, you know that, don't you? Oh, you bugger. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, please subscribe and uh, follow Essential RC because these are amazing projects you just won't see anywhere else. Credit to James on this one. Brilliant. Thanks again, cool. guys. Well done, James. Oh, thanks for talking me through it, mate. It always, <laughs> it always helps to have somebody.